the Backyardigans episode. Good morning, Clear Falls. I'm Michael. And I'm Andrew. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to Night Vision. Vision. It's, it's Night Vision. Check out our social medias and follow us. Oh, um, here's a look at you need to know info. Our first blood drive of the year will be tomorrow, Friday, January 28th, benefiting cancer patients at MD Anderson Cancer Center. Please sign up with any patient care technician student or at room 4407 in House 4. Students will also be signing up donors during lunch. Remember, each donation gives three cancer patients blood products, helps with their treatment, surgeries, and a shot at a cure. Have you seen High School Musical yet? If not, it's not too late. Clear Falls Theater is proud to present the film to stage adaptation. Tickets are still on sale. $10 if you're a student or $12 for the general public. Showtimes are tonight, January 27th, the 28th, and 29th, all at 7 p.m. Tryouts for the 2022 water polo season will be on Tuesday, February 1st, from 3 to 4 p.m. All those who are interested in trying out need to have a completed CCISD physical on file. If you need one, stop by the training room today. If you have any questions, see Coach Halford in room 5528 in House 2. Course selection is right around the corner. Stay tuned for the next three episodes for our course selection directions and elective showcase. I am Ms. Ramirez, the House 2 Secretary. I became a House Secretary because I love to be in charge and work with computers, do administrative things. I assign lockers, I am in charge of parking permits, so I deal with, you know, all the students every day. I do other administrative things. The great part about being a house secretary would have to be getting to interact with the kids every day. Honestly, some of y'all make me laugh and some of y'all um, I have to get on to, but it's still fun. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey Luke, what's your name? Hey, I'm, um, I'm Luke. So how are you? I'm good. Would you like to answer some questions? Um, if I'm ready, willing, and able. You're an actress, right? Yeah. So you do makeup? Yeah. You see, I I'm getting older, and I do you have any anti-aging techniques that I could use? Botox. Botox. Do they have Botox for beavers? Yeah. Well, speaking of plastic surgery, do you know what plastic's made out of? Gasoline. You guys have a nice day. Do you like gasoline? Gasoline? Gasoline. Well, without gasoline, we don't go anywhere. You know what could actually make things a lot warmer? Well, only the sun. Gasoline. Can you define crunkily? Crunkily? So, like, whenever your skin is all crunched up and, like, you know, compacted, you get crunkily and you get, like, little dust follicles and stuff like that, and it's very disgusting. Since that day, it's occurred to me that I've been getting older, getting weaker, weaker by the minute. I realized that I had forgotten the meaning of life entirely. The meaning of life is not about being young, but instead about growing old and about leaving legacy. Hi everyone, I'm Trent, and I like using the restroom. It's a place where I can take a break from the stress of school and just be with my thoughts. My therapist says it's not good for me, but what does she know? Either way, whenever I go to the bathroom to relieve myself and see that it's locked because someone destroyed both the stalls in there, it throws a bit of a wrench in my day. 
Now, fellas, look. I know we come from a dark place, but that doesn't mean we have to act like it. It's time that we become the responsible and mature adults that we strive to be, and not the creatures we are now. We have to start taking care of our school bathrooms, because I enjoy resting in the restroom. Don't you? What's all the excitement about? Is it the fact that the Knights cheer team competed at the UIL State Cheer Competition in Fort Worth? Knights cheer completed against 67 6A teams in their division and placed third overall in the state. This is the highest place ever for a CCISD cheer team. Make sure to congratulate your cheer team on their big accomplishment. Yeah. The third place team is... Weed City Clearwater. <laughs> Look guys, movie, movies are just better. You can't do something here because I said so. Shut up, Gavin. TV shows are great, man. No, because that is a violation of human rights. It's just an unfortunate set of events that happened. Okay, that's enough. Look guys, mov movies are just better. TV shows are a friend. Somebody that you could have for season to season. A movie what, you get an hour? Shut up. You're all wrong, and that's why I'm here. Yeah, and sometimes I wish I could punch you in your perfect teeth. That's why TV shows are better. Buddy, pal, they're gonna be coming for you. I'm not the one who needs to watch their back. You just started a war. Hypothetically, if you just admitted that TV shows were better, we wouldn't have to do this. You're outnumbered. All right, I'm bored. On the ruse. Uh, I speak uh, German. Hallo. Wie geht es dir heute? Mir geht's gut. Auf Wiedersehen. There's no chance you will ever be able to, to speak this word correctly. I'm gonna say it now, it's very long. Um, Rechtsschutzversicherungsgesellschaften. That's one word. And we're Germans are pretty weird. We just add words together. For you, it would be six different words. I speak Bosnian. It used to be called Serbo-Croatian. But Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, all the same. Zdravo. Kako si? Dobro, ciao. Thursday in Bosnian. Četvrtak. Oh, I speak Afrikaans. It is one of the official languages of South Africa. Hello. Hoe gaan dit? Het gaan goed met mij. Tot ziens. Korean. Anaiseo. Etekoe enaiseo. Nanguanachena. Aneo. Kam samnida. Which is thank you. I speak Arabic. Salam. Kif halak. Ana kwaiis. Salam also. Khawi means empty. Well, I speak the English language, but I speak the Queen's English or British English, as you might call it in America. In England, we call it either a toilet or a WC, which stands for water closet. Boot, I think, is what an American would call a trunk. And a bonnet is what an American would call a hood. Fries in England, we call them chips. A lot of people know about fish and chips. We would call ketchup tomato sauce, or as you would say, tomato sauce. Hi, 
I'm Ella. And I'm Jessica. And welcome to the second episode of Cooking Competition. Since today is National Chocolate Cake Day, we are going to be baking chocolate cake. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this in 15 minutes. The butter's soft though. That's it. Too much for this size pan. No, there's not. Good job. Next time we see you, our cakes will be done and we will be to the judges round. Not all of us can afford nice time will tell. Yeah. Oh, it is. No, why'd you not? Oh. It overflowed. <laughs> I feel so bad, but it's so funny. <laughs> Well, good afternoon. It looks like today we are having a chocolate cake taste off here. And we have cake A and we have cake B. I'm gonna give this a taste. Delicious. Perfectly warm. Just fills my mouth with mm, that delicious chocolate flavor. Makes me just wanna keep eating. So I think I will. All right, I'm gonna do it. Just know that we're low on subs, and if I get food poisoning from this, that's a night vision problem. That's actually not that bad. I'm worried about raw egg that was not cooked, but that's future me's problem. I uh, actually am gonna have soup cake win. And that's all for this episode of Night Vision. Make sure you catch us next week. And as always, it's, it's a great day to be, be a backyard. Uh, we're, we're knights. We're, we're knights. <laughs>